Hello traders, it's Ryan with Stock Investing and Trading 101. Uh, today, before we start today's video where we talk about a portfolio update and a strategy update, uh, I want to apologize to everybody for not uploading as much as I would like to. Uh, I recently diversified my portfolio by purchasing some real estate and, and have been in the process of renovating and moving and it's kept me very busy and I haven't been able to upload very much, but uh, we're going to start uploading now as things are pretty much finished with the real estate project. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. Uh, we're going to be doing a Robinhood portfolio and strategy update, talk about the market a little bit and just kind of my strategy and plans moving forward. Uh, today, we are up about 1.5%, uh, just about $400 profit. Um, on Friday, we actually had a pretty good day. Uh, we were up over $1,000. It was something like a 4% return almost. So we had a great day on Friday. Uh, this gives us a return for the past week of just over 3%. Uh, so pretty solid week, I would say, 3% return. Um, my strategy is very similar to what it's always been. Uh, we are doing a lot of swing trading. We're selling a little bit of premium between cash secured puts and covered calls. Uh, in essence, what we're trying to do is buy low and sell high and sell premium when the opportunities arise. So in my last portfolio update that I uploaded probably a few weeks ago at this point, um, I talked about how I was sitting in about 70% cash. I had a ton of cash ready on the sidelines. Uh, this was because this was probably during the end of April type of area or maybe early May. And as you can see, during that time frame, the market had pretty much been going on a straight upward move from March all the way until um pretty much May 7th. Um, and after May 7th, we had a small correction, but it was um, a good buying opportunity as things turned out. Uh, if you bought uh, this buying opportunity, you could have sold pretty much any day this week and made uh, a few percentage points of profit. That's exactly what I did with my cash on the sideline. I you know, had all of this cash available on the sideline. I was waiting for a dip to buy, uh, buy high quality stocks that um, pretty much I had a shopping list ready. I knew what stocks I wanted. I knew what stocks were, you know, growing high quality companies. So I had my shopping list ready. I had my cash ready. And all I had to do was wait for the opportunity. And sure enough, um, in May, uh, just in the past few weeks, the opportunity came right to me. Um, you know, I got a good buying opportunity, and that's a good part of the reason that I've been able to make this profit uh, last week and this week. Um, and that's kind of how my strategy works. Looking back at my one-year chart, we have a 72% return, and my returns kind of come in spurts. So you'll see... Uh, like the end of October, we had a nice uh, spurt from October all the way until pretty much March. And then from March, we have a spurt going all the way up to May until present day. And so these spurts pretty much come from me buying the dip heavily. So during March, I bought the dip heavily. I ride the market up. And then once we get to overbought territory, I like to sell, go back into cash and start the whole process over again. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I am currently doing. And let's talk about my strategy moving forward. So now that we know that I've been buying the dip, I bought the dip, and I've made a decent amount of profit from buying the dip, let's talk about what I plan to do moving forward, knowing what we know. Um, so what I've already done, considering I've made all this profit and considering that I pretty much went all in buying the dip, I invested pretty heavily. Um, so at this point I sold maybe half of my positions, maybe like 40% and I paid off all my leverage. 
Uh, so I'm no longer leveraged because I also took out leverage to buy the dip. I was fairly confident in it being a good buying opportunity. So I bought heavily and I also bought with leverage. So I took a big risk. It was a calculated risk and it ended off paying, uh, it paid off pretty well. Um, but moving forward, I deleveraged the portfolio. I reduced my positions. I have cash available. Um, and I kind of set myself up in a win-win position. If the market continues to go higher, uh, I'm still heavily invested in all of these stocks that you can currently see scrolling through the screen. I'm still heavily invested, and so I will benefit from the market going higher. Uh, if the market goes lower, I have plenty of cash and leverage available to average down, buy the dip, and make profits when the market goes back up, just like I have been for the past couple of weeks. So to be honest, I really don't care where the market goes at this point. I would kind of prefer a, a downward move so I can get some good entry points and buy some stocks. But if the market continues to go up, it's pretty much easy money for me. And all that means is that I will have to um, wait for another buying opportunity. Um, so that's that. Um, moving forward, knowing that um, pretty much I'm just, you know, not really doing too much with the portfolio. I have some premium sold. Uh, so I'm selling cash secured puts on Rocket Mortgages and I'm selling covered calls on Palatier, Workhorse, Rocket Mortgages, and Campbell Soup. Uh, so this is another way that I generate income and theta. And this also protects me if the market doesn't necessarily go up and it doesn't necessarily go down and it just kind of stays flat. Uh, having this theta in my portfolio benefits me uh, because if the market wasn't moving, pretty much my stocks would kind of be dead money. I wouldn't really be making any money and I wouldn't really be losing any money. I might be making a little bit in dividends, but nothing really, you know, too much. So this way, if the market stays neutral, I benefit from theta decay and so it's kind of another, you know, protection and another aspect to the portfolio. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to where I'm at with my portfolio, uh, what's been going on and why I haven't been uploading and my strategy, uh, you know, for the past month and moving forward. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, drop a comment, let me know what you're doing in this market, if you're buying, if you're selling, what you're buying, what you're selling, uh, let me know what you're doing. I'm interested in sharing trading ideas with other people. So as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.